hope you're all well. Today is Friday the 5th of March, I nearly said November. <laughs> I'm heading out and about today so I thought I would do a wee vlog. I have actually got a hospital appointment this morning at quarter to 12. It's just for an ultrasound on my belly. I found a little lump all the way back. September, October time, just beside my belly button and I wasn't worried about it. I was thinking it's probably just a fatty lump and I mentioned it to the nurse when I was getting my B12. She checked it and then got the doctor to check it and the doctor says the same as me. He reckons that it's just a fatty lump. Let's face it, I've got plenty of those and um, but he would feel better just getting it checked out by ultrasound. So that is what I'm going for today. Now, I am absolutely pooping myself with anxiety, not because of the ultrasound, not because I'm going to the hospital, because I spent most of my life in a bloody hospital recently, um, just because A, I'm going out, which is a rare thing nowadays, and B, I've never been to this hospital before. So I hate going new places, especially on my own. Now Jack has taken the day off work, so he's taken me, but he's not allowed in with me. So I have to go in myself. So it's a new place, a new hospital. I don't have a clue where I'm going. And yeah, I'm just feeling a bit anxious. So I always feel better talking to you. So I thought I would do a wee vlog and take you with me for a bit of moral support. So it isn't until quarter to 12. So we'll be leaving here about quarter to 11 because we need to go via the chemist to pick up my prescription. Um, it is 25 to 10 just now. So Brooke is doing some schoolwork just now. Now the only downside, well, not the only downside, but one of the downsides of homeschooling is that if I have an appointment such as today, Brooke needs to come, which means she misses school. So she is going to talk to the teacher about it on her Google Meets and say that she'll do whatever she can just now before we leave, but that's as much work as she'll get done. Um, because once we go out, we have to go other places too. We need to go to B&Q. Brooke's going to be getting her room done up. She's going to be getting it repainted and she's also getting drawers and a desk from Ikea that we're picking up today. She's getting drawers the same as Abby's, but without the end cupboard bit on it. She's getting a desk instead because of course she's going to high school after the summer. So she'll need somewhere to study and, you know, not private, but quiet. Um, it would have been a lot handier to have her desk at the start of homeschooling rather than at the end of it, but at least she'll have it there for in the, in the when she's in high school. Talking about homeschooling, the end is nigh. Nicola Sturgeon said at the start of the week that all primary school pupils, so that's Brooke, and the sort of older secondary pupils, which is Abby, will be going back to school full time on the 15th of March. So a week on Monday, they will be going back to school full time. So I told Abby about it and she went, yes, because she's really missing the social side of school. Not so much the work, but the social side of school. And I said to Brooke and she went, oh. <laughs> and to be honest, I kind of know how she feels. Now, I know that sounds weird because I've done nothing but moan about homeschooling. However, recently I found that we've got into a really good routine and we've got a good balance between school and life and we're actually quite enjoying it now. Um, they've got the school have got it spot on with the amount of work they're giving them and the amount of help they're giving them. So I don't need to do an awful lot for Brooke just now other than if she's stuck, I'll help her with something. Um, and I think we've just got into that kind of happy place with it and now it's all changing again and as you'll know by now because the video should be up a couple of days ago Brooke isn't keen on her routine changing because she has Asperger syndrome so that is making her quite anxious at the thought of all of that changing again and going back to school and she's actually been getting on really well with the people from school recently because she's been talking to them remotely rather than actually being with them all the time so all of that is sort of playing on her anxiety quite a bit um 
and yeah I'm, I've got the, the oh back to the old routine again I've just got used to this routine but it'll be good for them at the end of the day we need to start getting back to normality and that's a problem I think quite a lot of people are finding that now the new normal is staying at home and being on your own and the new anxiety is the thought of going out anywhere and being sociable uh, which is a sad state of affairs really isn't it so yes the plan for today is we will be going to pick up my prescription going to the hospital <laughs> um heading to b and q for some paint for brooks room and heading to ikea uh to pick up her drawers and their desk and then we need to go to get the dog food so while dad while dad while Jack is getting the dog food, I'm going to go into Home Bargains because it's the only time I get a chance to go to Home Bargains since it's right next to the pet shop. And I'm needing a new frying pan. My frying pan gave up on me through the week. The bottle, the bottom metal bit, the sort of heat conductor bit, just completely came away from the bottom of the frying pan. So I need a new frying pan. And while I'm in there, I'll have a little look about and see what I can see as you do. I have already got my dinner in the slow cooker. I'm making the chilli mac and cheese that I mentioned in my recent Asda grocery haul. So I'm looking forward to trying that. So that's in the slow cooker. It's meant to be on high for four hours, but I thought I'll put it on low um, and just fix it whenever we come in. Hopefully that should be okay. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. And what else? I should be having my coffee just now. But my stomach is in knots at the thought of going to this hospital on my own, so I'm just not able to have it. I'll end up starving by the time I come out, so I'll take some food with me, I think. I'll give you a quick update on the animals while I'm here. Lomond is doing great, the little pretty cat. I will hopefully have put in some clips of him before this, um, of him this morning, just exploring my bedroom. He's getting brave, exploring different parts of the, the house now, because he usually goes between... Brooke's room, Abby's room and living room but when the dogs aren't there he likes to go into other rooms and have a look about so this morning it was the turn of my bedroom while I was getting ready so yeah he's doing brill he was at the vet yesterday for his first checkup and getting his first jags and he did great he got a clean bill of health so yeah he's fun so much fun and someone asked me the other day how Rannach is doing because during vlogmas he had to go to the vets he had a nasty lump on his tail that he had to get removed um, in an operation and he is doing great the fur has grown back over his tail and his the where he got the lump from his shoulders removed and yeah he got a clean bill of health as well so he is back to normal so we're all good we're doing great we have also just received new canvases of the dogs from the photo shoot that we did um before Christmas we got Christmas canvases printed which were in the hall over Christmas and that's us just got our normal ones but I'm not going to show you them just now I'm going to wait until they're up on the wall and then show you so I think that's us all up to date with all our news so I'm going to head off just now and get some more bits and pieces done make sure Brooke's okay with her school and um, yeah I'll come back to you when we're heading out oh that's what I was going to say the dogs are going with us today so Lomond is going to be in the house on his own for the first time he doesn't like being out and about in the car when we had him out yesterday just meowed the whole time so we're going to leave him in the house and hopefully he's going to be okay we'll make sure that we close doors that he could get up to any mischief as in hurting himself so yeah hopefully I think we'll maybe just have Brooke's room and the living room doors open and that way he can go between the two he's got his wee scratchy post in the living room which he loves I'll put in a few clips of that just now Friday with us and I'll see you in a wee while.
Hello again, this is 20 to 11, nearly quarter two, and that's us getting ready to go. Um, I've just had a letter from <coughs> the Education Authority. Abby's not full time from the 15th, but they are going to be having a mixture of remote learning and in school learning, and the senior phase pupils will have priority when it comes to face to face lessons for their um, qualifications and stuff. So, just to let you know. Right, so that's us heading. We have um, basically given Loman the run of Brooks room, the hall and the living room. So fingers crossed they'll be okay. I've got my dinner in there cooking. So we're all organised, but I'm crapping myself. I'm feeling so sick. <laughs> Shocking that I get such bad anxiety. I'm sure I'll be fine. See you at the other end. <laughs> Okay, so I'm an idiot and turned up at the wrong hospital. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got it sorted and they phoned the right hospital and they're going to wait for me as long as I can get there in the next half hour. So we're dashing off to the right hospital this time, hopefully. What an idiot. But actually, I went in and I said, look, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I knew what hospital it was, but I was convinced this was that hospital and it's not. But hey ho, we're on our way to the right one, hopefully. <laughs> well, that's a relief. That's it all over. <laughs> got here and got seen. Um, and it is just what we thought it was. It's just a wee fatty lump, so nothing to worry about. So what's the plan next? Are we B and Q? Are we IKEA? <laughs> the dog's going nuts when Jack's been out the van, look. Like, oh, you were away, Dad. Oh, where were you? Go to IKEA first. So we're heading to Ikea and this is a, an ordeal as well, eh? Do you need, did you say that you have to phone them and then reverse the van in uh, and open the open the boot so that they can then put the stuff in? I was going, or you put the stuff in, I was going to say because they'll get a fright when they open the, look in the boot and see Rana staring out at them. <laughs> Big bear staring at them. So yeah, that's the plan. We're heading to Ikea now to pick up the desk and drawers for Brookie Babes. Okay, Brook? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Once you have arrived at the Ikea car park, please remain in the click and collect waiting area until we notify you to proceed to the collection point. have been into B and Q and this is the colour of green that they got. Brooke wanted her room slithering colours so she's having three walls grey and one this green. They couldn't find the green that they wanted so they got it custom made and um, she's telling me that they've got flooring as well so she's getting her whole room done. You're a lucky girl. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're in Clyde Bank. Brooke and Jack are away into Jolly's to get the pet food and Zana's food. I'm in here with the puppies. And then I'm going to be going into Home Bargains. I don't need much. I need to get a frying pan. And one of my viewers told me after watching my last mini B&M haul that you can get the Astonish window cleaner in your yeah. bargain yeah. so I'm going to have a yeah. look while I'm in you know what it's like, you never go in for much and you come out with loads so we shall see <laughs> so yes, as usual, went in for a couple of things and came out with a big bag <laughs> it's actually not that much, I'll show you when we get home well, here we are on the bunny bunny banks of Loch Lomond the dogs were needing to stretch their legs so Jack is just taking them out for a wee wander. They were whining, so we thought they needed a little toilet break. Oh, poor Molly was bursting. So yeah, that is Loch Lomond. We're just at Duck Bay. For anyone who knows the area, we're at Duck Bay um, Hotel and Restaurant and Cameron House Hotel. So yeah, isn't it beautiful? I used to come here for day trips when I was young. <laughs> we used to go to Luss, which is where the Scottish programme Take the High Road was filmed. Uh, we used to go there all the time, which is just a wee bit further along than uh, our turn off. Yeah, there you go, a wee bit of Scottish geography and history. Or what is it you sang, Brooke? What, what banks of Loch Lomond? Shut up. <laughs> 
Brooke used to sing on the bloody, bloody banks of Loch Lom, and she thought it was about a war, about a big fight, <laughs> a battle. That's it, a battle, that's what you said, eh? You thought it was bloody banks and not bonny banks. <laughs> survived. Bloman's still there. He didn't get himself stuck. Right, so home at last. It's five to five. I've just put the pasta in the slow cooker with the chilli. I'm waiting for the oven to heat up to put the dough balls in. And I'm just going to feed the puppies because they'll be hungry. Eh, hey, are you hungry? Yes, and Bloman don't need fed too. We had left dry food out for him because we wouldn't be here to give him his lunch and that's gone. Right, let's feed you. I'll just quickly show you what I got in Home Bargains while I'm empty in the bag. Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. Got greaseproof paper because I was needing more of that. White card because I always need white card. It was only 99 pence for the 10 sheets. This was good. A set of 12 acrylic paints for £1.49, so it's different colours. Oh, these were actually from... Jollies, we had to go back in because Home Bargains didn't have any kitten treats so we got them the Milky Whiskers Milky Treats and the Webox Yummy Yums which are kitten friendly so we'll see what he thinks of these semi-moist tasty treats I hate that word moist <laughs> I got a pack of Easter Wishes tissue paper which was 99 pence for 10 sheets and I think that's lovely nice and bright and cheery I thought these looked great for Easter. It's a hot chocolate Easter egg, so it's like a chocolate hot chocolate bomb, but it's an Easter egg one. So it's filled with chocolate chips and marshmallows. And I thought the, the girls would like that. They were £1.49 each, so I got one each for the girls. <laughs> never seen these before and I love a French fancy. I love the lemon ones, I love the orange ones and now the after dinner mint ones. <gasps> Looking forward to trying them later. I can't remember how much they were. And biscuit wise, I saw these and couldn't resist. I love these, the Foxy Jam and Cream Biscuits. Oh, it's like a jammy dodger but softer. And it's got the cream in it as well as the soft jammy bit in the middle, raspberry and vanilla. I love these. The only thing is, once I start eating them, I could easily eat the whole packet. Oh, I didn't know I'd got this. Jack must have picked this up. The Febreze Fabric Freshener. And I specifically looked for this because one of my viewers told me you could get it in home bargains. And by golly, you can. So it's the Astonish Window and Glass Cleaner. I really like this. It's my favourite glass cleaner. And it was only 89 pence for that big one. 750 mils, which is good. And... Oh, almost finally the frying pan that I went in for I wasn't wanting to spend £13 on a frying pan but it was the only big one they had, the tea fowl um, and it should have been £33 apparently, that was the RRP so I got it for £12.99 so yeah hopefully that one won't fall to bits on me and finally Jack got a pack of the snack size Mars which is already tucked into on the way home so that was everything that I got in Home Bargains as I said, I went in for two things and came out with all that. <laughs> Here is all the stuff that they got in B&Q. Well, that will be the stuff from Ikea. Yeah, that's our drawers there. That will be our desk. That's the one that flooring that they got for her, which is nice. Um, got her a new blind, grey. That will be the paint that was made up that I showed you the swatch of. That will be the grey one that they got called Hamptons. 
I got two of them and oh that's a nice light and that's the light that we chose for her so all we need now is for Jack to be able to get time to do it and then once it's all done I will let you see it whenever the poor guy gets a chance yeah and there's Loman's new toy I did film it when we unboxed it but I don't think I've put that up on my channel yet so I thought I would show you isn't it cracking he loves lying up on that bit and hanging over the edge playing with the ball or he likes to grab onto this bit and scratch it and then pat at the ball he's got a wee hidey hole there and he's got a wee hammock there <laughs> he's got a wee ladder to climb up Rana, there's no point looking for him he's in the brook having his dinner <laughs> you're dafty so yeah Right, half past five, that's dinner ready so it's the chilli mac and cheese which at first taste is lovely although I've maybe made it a wee bit spicy for me and I've got a few garlic dough balls there so I'm going to get stuck into this we've got all oh, Instant Family we still not watch that I think we'll watch Instant Family we watched half of it on Netflix and then the internet gave up on us so when it was on the actual telly we recorded it yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed your little trip out and about with us today um, the hospital trip was uh, <laughs> a little bit worse than it had to be considering yes I did make it a bit harder than it had to be really by going to the wrong hospital what a stupid mistake to make wasn't it Clyde stupid mistake but it got sorted I'm only human and uh, it got sorted I got seen at the right hospital and everything was okay which is the main thing and uh, yeah it's been a nice wee day out so that is everything. If you've enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up button and I will see you in our next video. Thanks everyone. Bye. Molly, say bye.